Well, hello. We are back. Today we're making a basic set of tongs. I think it's about time that I upgrade these. These are made by another blacksmith for me one day with his power hammer. We were having fun, so he just decided to make me a pair of tongs. I, th I can't remember if this was made with one spike or two. I'm thinking two maybe. Anyway, these are my favorite. Like you'll see in every video, I try and use these the most. They, they're nice. So we're gonna make kind of the same set as these. Um, I'll, f I'll show you exactly step by step. I follow basic guidelines of how I make my tongs. And with all my tongs that I'll show you here now, I kind of follow the exact same recipe every time and it works out good. So that's one pair. Then I don't know if you guys remember these uh, 2017 duckbill smiley tongs. Um, slot jaw tongs, love these. Very good for knife making, love them. Put your piece of steel in. Clamp it shut, and uh, there you go. They take round stock, square stock, super versatile, love them. Then you got your box jaw tongs that I made. This is Heath Heiliger's set that I made him a while ago. I still need to mail it off to him when I mail a bunch of other stuff off to him. And my V-Bit tongs. Now, like I said, all of these, I pretty much followed the exact same recipe and you'll see in the video, I'll show you step-by-step step how I do my tongs. And this is just gonna be a basic set of flat nib tongs, which I kind of use more than any other pair of tongs, to be quite honest. They are done, they're in my hands here. And these are really, really pretty. Um, yeah, you'll see in the video, I'll show you in the end. Let's do it. So with every basic set of tongs, um, I do my first set down over here. The amount of distance you put on yours depends on how much meat you want on the working end part of your tongs. If you want to turn them into different kind of, you know, uh, like this one's going to be longer because you want to split this and have a different kind of working end. Just a normal flat end part. But yeah, so that, that distance all depends on what kind of um, tongs you want. After this set down, I take it up, up to that edge, turn left, forge that step down. So if you look from here, you'll forge that step in. Then step three is when it's over there, take it up another, I don't know, inch maybe because you want that square of your boss. Turn it left again. Now you do both sides like this, both sides of your reins. You don't change one side of your left, one side of your right. It's step one, step two, up, bang. Step three, up, left, bang. Put your mark in. And that's it, you'll see in the video. Let's do it. This is what we're gonna use. This is half inch by seven eighths bar stock. Um, like I said, you can use anything. You can use any kind of, you know, nice piece of beefy metal. Um, rail spikes. I've made many, 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 many tongs out of rail spikes. And uh, yeah, this is what I'll be using for today's set of tongs. Let's get this in the fire. around two inches or an inch and a half in, put a step in.
Okay, first step is done. Next one is up and over and turn it over to the left. Okay, then again, up, over, and to the left. So step one, step two, turn left, step three, up, about a, a square. Because that's gonna be your boss area, this right here. So try and get a perfect square. So when you're there, up a little bit, and put your mark in, turn it to the left. There's the start of your boss. Now all you do is, is uh, draw out the reins and then pop a hole, put your rivet in and Bob's your uncle. So bring it back when I'm done with the reins.
One more time. nice and straight beauty kind of blackened these up a little bit they are very nice I have uh, actually used them a bunch today that I did not record because that's for a different video they open up really easy they just fall open and uh, yeah there you go basic set of flat nip tongs hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll catch you guys on the next one see ya